Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Around two years ago I created a video about single phase uh, Fronius Prima 5kW inverter. I created this video because I thought someone would be interested in it and this video became very popular. In case if you would like to come back and have a look, I'll post the card just above should pop up and uh, you can refer to that video and since then I have an opportunity to participate in another solar project um, the project a little bit different and it was designed from scratch again and we had choice of multiple choice of inverters and this video is not about that new inverter this video I would like to create to gauge uh, if there is a, any interest for me to describe why we didn't go with uh, Fronius Prima this time around actually I will mention it in this video but um, please comment down below if you would like to hear anything about because I didn't create that new video yet so if you would like to hear about the new inverter that we chosen which is good V um, please let me know in the comments down below and when I create a video I try to touch those points so new um, inverter that we'll be uh, getting for new system will be Goodway single phase 10 kilowatt inverter. So first of all, uh, why Fronius wasn't chosen? Uh, for a number of reasons. The first reason is uh, Fronius is only 5 kilowatt inverter. There are 10 kilowatt versions, uh, but they're not uh, at the same price point as um, Goodway. Also, in the last two years, the noise uh, from a Fronius inverter, Fronius Prima, especially in Australian summers, became unbearable. And it's the fan cooling system, it's not a passive cooling system as Goodwin. And if you install your uh, Fronius Prima inverter inside the garage or even outside, that noise, high pitch noise, uh, when Fronius close to 5 kilowatt capacity or at capacity could be quite intrusive. So it's the first biggest choice uh, of different inverter is I could not stand any more uh, Fronius um, coolant noise. Um, and there's nothing you can do to lower it. I think some people try to install uh, extra fans or cool it other way. I think it's not worth it, especially when other inverters are available. And uh, the second uh, reason for not choosing Fronius is the price. I already mentioned the Goodwe is a much cheaper inverter at same warranty in Australia. So Fronius gives you five plus five years warranty, which is ten years warranty. Goodwe gives you kind of similar setup. Goodwe may be not as popular or um, prestigious Fronius, but in my books, uh, if it works for 10 years, uh, I literally believe um, um, Goodwill is a better choice, especially based on specifications. Speaking of specifications, um, Fronius from on top of my, from top of my head, from top of my memory, um, only two string inverter. That means if your house is not quite positioned uh, north, uh, or you need to choose more than two sides to put solar panels on, Fronius, I think, will accommodate only two strings, when Goodwill can accommodate three strings. If it's important to you, I think uh, only based on that will make choice to go to something like Goodwill. So Goodwill is a passive cooling system, so there's a big radiator, there's no um, uh, fan which should not which should be totally uh, silent uh, second is a three string uh, inverter so you can put uh, panels on uh, three different sides and also uh, the good way in a 10 kilowatt single phase version is cheaper than Fronius 5 kilowatt and single phase version let's talk about uh, 10 kilowatt why do we need 10 kilowatt when majority of Australia restricts uh, feed in uh, to 5 kilowatt. Uh, the reason is that if you think of uh, solar generation it will be big bell curve. Sun rises in the morning and your 
solar system slowly kicks in and as it ramps up it will kind of go steadily up 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 and up until it reaches um, the highest point of generation depends on your amount of your solar panels and will be limited by uh, your inverter ability so if your inverter is five kilowatts it peaks at five kilowatts and stays there until you generate in a, in a, in a through the panels less than five kilowatts and then it goes down so it will look like u shape and that's called bell curve so the every cancer or shire in australia we have different rules but where i live uh, in brisbane we're allowed to export maximum of five kilowatts on a single phase we're allowed to put up to 10 kilowatts single phase inverter and oversized panels up to 133 percent what that means that means i had an opportunity to be part of installation which is 34 panels of 390 watts which will result in 13.2 kilowatts of um, possible energy input it's 133 percent of um, 10 kilowatts then it will be channeled through 10 kilowatt inverter and will be shaped or limited by five kilowatts um, feed in you would ask me why do you need oversize so much let's talk about that so if you think that sun rises most of the time on east and go through the north to west and if you put all your panels north it's tend to be better generation because it's right in the middle of east and west but if you oversize it and you've got enough of roof space you could put like in this case we'll put 17 panels on east side 17 panels on the west side and zero on north what will we achieve we will achieve almost peak amount of input energy straight as sun will come up will achieve more than five kilowatts or five kilowatts uh, um, in the middle of the day because it will be in between east and west and good uh, solar generation uh, uh, in the evening time and instead of looking at the very steady bell curve we should see more like almost a square curve when most of the day we will generate five i'm talking about sunny day or mostly a sunny day we should generate five kilowatts from the moment the sun rises probably half an hour later or an hour later and half an hour before sun sets because of the quantity of the panels and uh, oversize of the system we should be able to generate um, five kilowatts steadily through the day so that's the first reason and the second reason is more interesting because we shaped into feed in for five kilowatts uh, and invert is 10 kilowatts so it will be possible it will be between zero to five kilowatts uh, gap that in between inverter capability and feed in capability so if in the middle of the day you can schedule most of your appliances or even hot water to top up when generation is between 5 to 10 kilowatts potentially you may not impact feed in quantity of your energy what that means that means like for example if you're generating uh, 10 kilowatts of energy if you're generating like 11 kilowatts or more of energy inverter only converts 10 feed in 5 so you got extra 5 kilowatts of energy to do something your water system probably would be 3.9 or 4.2 kilowatts and it kicks in and runs for three hours that four kilowatts of uh, hot water while it's uh, heating up your your barrel or for 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 night or whenever you have a shower of 300 liters should be and uh, i would probably work for two or three hours to top up and those three hours of hot water would not impact feed in of five kilowatts it will sit above so what i'm trying to say is by not using fronius using goodway we achieve three things first 
fanless uh, um, uh, operation, which will be totally quiet. Uh, it's not impacted by warranty, it's 10 years warranty. Also, it should be much more significant in the money generating um, uh, side of the thing. So if you think cost of Fronius, if you offset that cost and put them in panels with good inverter, you should be, uh, I guess, good for 10 years at least of power generation at same price if you would put 6.6 .6 kilowatts on a Fronius inverter but you get more feed in as well as you can run in, in the middle of the day hot water system or air conditioners or all together almost for free on a sunny uh, day so those are my thoughts about Goodwin inverter uh, if you are interested in installation video what panels we choose how system position please comment down below because we will be i think filming maybe in 5, 10 or 15 days time. So all the comments that uh, I'll read before then, I will try to incorporate in video. If we create the video and comments will come after, we'll try to answer all the comments. But those are reasons to go from Fronius to Goodwin. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, uh, if you like this video and or any other videos on my channel, subscribe and like. That subscription will help you to get notified if you click the bell uh, icon when actual inverter, Goodwin inverter video will be uh, published and um, uh, opportunity for you to comment as well. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.